My name is Mohammed Zakwani Mohammed. I teach bookkeeping from four. Today we discuss about the topic of joint venture. What is a joint venture? When you say joint venture is a mutual advantages of two or more people organized together to undertake business with the aim of making profit. This is a joint venture. It means mutual advantage of two or more people organized together to undertake a specific business function with the aim of making profit. I mean, when the joint venture continue, I mean, either the profit or loss be occurred. Within a venture, the profit or loss should be shared between two persons. When the business incur loss, it means the loss not bared to the one person, but distributed to the all people that entered into the joint venture. You may say that joint venture is a simple partnership, but they have a limited transactions. Not all transactions entered into the joint venture like a partnership, but have a limit transaction. Always, they have a specific date of determination, and they have a specific function. For example, Juma and Ali joined together to undertake a business of sales oranges to the market. Ali buy orange and transport it to the market. Juma sells orange to the market. This is a one among the type of joint venture between Ali and Juma. If the business receive a profit, the profit will be shared. Or if the business receive a loss, the loss will be shared. Okay, refer to this example. A plant, hoe, and rape enter into joint venture dealing with carrot. The transaction concerned with this venture were 2090 as follows. January 8. Plant rent a land cost Tanzania shillings 150. This venture concerning to three people. One is known as a plant. Plant. Joint. Venture. With. Hoy and rip. This is the account of one partners. Another one is Hoy. Hoy joint. Venture with plant and rip. Another partner is known as uh, rip. Said is that rip. Joint venture 
with plant and hoy. All these three account only by the partners. One is deals for plant, another one deals for hoe, hoe transactions, and the last one deals for repo joint venture with plant and hoe. Okay. Plant rent a land cost one fifty. If the plant rent a land, it means that plant incur cost of rent for land. Therefore, plant will record in the box by side that rent. For land one fifty. This box only by the plant, and all transaction concerning to plant will enter the in this book of a plant. Here we saw that plant rent for land for one fifty six hundred is. Okay, hoy supply seed for forty eight. Look, the account of hoy is here. Then said is that supply seed, supply, supply seed. How much forty eight? This book of hoy deals for transactions that incurred for hoy only. Then, plant employ labor for fertilizing for one hundred and five. Look, the account of a plant is here. Say that labor labor for plant. Labor, labor for planting one zero five one hundred and five. Okay. Hoy, hoy, charge, charge motor expenses. Tanzania shilling seventeen. If hoy. Charge motor expenses. It means how I pay the motor expenses. Therefore, should be shown in the book of how. You said that motor expenses. How much? Seventeen. Another transactions. Said is that. Plant employ labor for fertilizing Tanzania shillings thirty six, thirty six, thirty six. Okay. This expenses incurred by the plant should be recorded in a plant book. The plant book is here. Write that labor, labor. Fertilizer, fertilizer, thirty-six. Okay. On twenty-eighth, twenty-eighth, plant paid the following expenses. Plant paid the following expenses: sundry expenses, ten shillings; labor, eighteen. Shillings and fertilizer twenty nine shillings. Refer to the account of the plant is here, 
and they plan to pay these expenses. You record here, say it is that sundry, 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 ten shillings, then labor, labor, eighteen shillings, and fertilizer, fertilizer, twenty nine shillings. Okay? We continue with the transactions. Uh, rip employ labor for lifting carrot, Tanzania shillings 73. Okay. This it means is that rip pay the labor for fertilizer, for, for lifting a carrot, Tanzania shillings 73. This one is an account of rip. Should be recorded at here by saying that lifting carrot, carrot, 73 shillings. Okay. Uh, on 13, sales expenses paid by rip, Tanzania shillings, 39. Okay, we look at the account of RIP, is this one. And this side, we record that selling expenses, how much? Okay, 39. Okay. Another transaction is RIP receive a cash from sales proceed gross Tanzania shilling nine hundred and eighty seven. If the rip receive a money, rip will record this transaction at the credit side by says that sells Tanzania shillings ninety seven. Okay? Okay. After to complete, to enter the transaction within the three account, will you prepare another account is known as a memorandum account. What is a memorandum account? The, the memorandum account is a combination of three accounts. The aim of prepare this memorandum account just to know the profit of each one or to know the profit for whole business and how to distribute for each one. Therefore, we'll open the account known as memorandum, memorandum, joint venture. Memorandum Joint Venture Account. You will write here. The Memorandum Joint Venture Account will combine all the accounts, or will combine all three accounts, plant account, hoy account, and repo account. Just you said that rent for, for land, 150, 156. Another one is a labor. Labor for fertile, for planting. For planting. 105, 105. Labor for fertilizer. Labor, fertilizer. Fertilizer, 36. Another one is a sundry expenses, 10 shillings. Another one is a labor, 18 shillings. Another one is fertilizer, 29 shillings. 
Then you come to the hoe. Hoe just supply seed, supplied seed, 48, and the motor expenses. Motor expenses, 17. Then we come for plant. Just I remove this account and I draw here. Say so that RIP account. RIP joint venture with plant and hoy. So it is a lift carrot. How much? Seven twenty three. Selling expenses. Thirty nine. And it sells. You remove here just to get a space to continue with memorandum. Okay. Then you put the expenses incurred by RIP just as a lifting carrot, lifting carrot, seven three. Another one is selling expenses. Selling expenses is 39. Then you say that it sells. Sells is 987. Okay. After combine the three account, then you will add this side. You got uh, how much? 180, 1, 156, 105, 39, 10, 18, 29, 40, 80, 170. You got, uh, I think, 531. The debit side, you got uh, 500 and 31. Look at the credit side. The credit side, you have 987. Which one is greater? Which one is greater? I think the credit side is greater than the debit side. If the credit side is greater than debit side, take the amount of credit side right here and here. Then, the greater minus the lower. If you minus here, you got 60, Five, four. You go to 456. You put here 456. This is a profit that got in the venture. How may distribute this profit? The profit will be distributed by looking the sharing ratio. We have already discussed that. After the venture get a profit or loss, the profit or loss should be distributed to the partners or to the ventures. 
Okay. The ratio is said is that the ratio plant receives 7 over 12, hoe 3 over 12, and reap receives 2 over 12. Okay. You take the profit is 456 times 7 over 12. 7 over 12. This is a share of share of plant and hoe four five six times three over twelve and reap you take the total profit times reap ratio is two over twelve. When after putting there, you got that uh, plant will receive 266, then hoe will receive 114, and ripple will receive that 76. Here we'll put there by saying that share of profit by saying that plant hoe and rip one is two six six another one is one one four and another one is seventy six then you transfer the share of profit to the owner. Just you say that a plant here shares that share of profit, share of profit, you got how much? 266. Then hoe, you say that share of profit. You got how much? One, one, four, one hundred and fourteen. Then to reap, you got how much? Say it is that share of profit. Share of profit. Share of profit. Seven six. Okay. Refer to the questions. The question said is that any outstanding balance between the party was settled by check on 13th February. Okay. The outstanding balance will got by close the account. When you close the account, the difference is known as outstanding balance. Look here. Sum here. You got, you got, you got 6020. Just in here you put 6020. Just you call balance CD 6020. Balance BD means that 60, 20. Here said is that receive check. Receive check from, from RIP of 60, 20. Then you go to plant. When you add here, you go to you go to one seven nine. 
and here 179. Just you call that balance CD 179 balance BD 179. Then you say that receive check from from rip 179 okay then here is a credit side just you put it to the rip say it is that payment to to plant to plant for 620 and then to hoe to hoe 179 if you add here you got 987 and here 987 this account should be balanced Oh, should we give a nil balance? Okay, thank you for listening. See you to the next lesson.